Great day. Um, we knew we had to come out ready to play today. Uh, I think we got a lot of confidence from our game Wednesday coming off um, a tough gritty overtime win and we wanted to take control of the game early on and I was really proud of how the team came out firing really on all cylinders um, and we're able to hang on. This may be the best week of your season so far. You win on Sunday, then you win one in overtime on the road, and then you come back home on Saturday and win again. <laughs> Huge week for the Spiders. Yep, big week. I think it was great to be back in Robin Stadium today and on our home field. We haven't been here too much yet this year, but I think coming off Wednesday's win, getting confidence, good experience from that, and we knew we had to be ready for St. Joe's in, in all four quarters. Uh, we haven't talked about it yet on the air, but let's talk about your draw control. McHugh, uh, Jordan, Muldoon, Murphy, I mean, it's slowly developing into a rule the world draw control. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we've been working hard on it. Claire has been stepping up a ton this year, putting in a lot of work um, watching film, and it's one of the areas of our game we knew we needed to um, fill in from last year, and those guys have really come at it strong of we can get better each game, and every team is a little different in how they've challenged us, so it's been great experience, and I'm excited to see them just continue to uh, get stronger and, and solve some more problems as we go into future games. Two girls we don't talk about a lot, number 20 and number 25. One of, both of them are great on the draw, but Raycroft is your clearing specialist. Abby almost looks for it every time she makes the save. Yeah, Roy, uh, Sarah's done a phenomenal job in transition, especially these last couple games. She was a ground ball machine down there uh, in the eight meter today, um, and she just has such great separation speed, so a huge part of jump-starting our fast break, and um, Maggie, 25, is, is a similar presence out there. Okay. Uh, Big week now, you're 4-0 in the A-10. This was a monster week. Uh, you guys are sitting pretty at this point in the year. <laughs> uh, sitting pretty, but not comfortable. We've got Bonaventure coming down next weekend. Um, we know that they are continuing to get stronger and stronger, so they've always got some, some different defenses uh, for us to work through. So excited for another week of practice to get better. And uh, we've been talking a lot about our, our process and just staying true to that. And I'm excited to see the gains that we will have in coming weeks. That was really fun. I think we all played like really collectively and all my goals came from like my other teammates working around me. And I think it just everything's translating from practice and like previous games into like our game today. We all had like really high energy. So I think that really showed today. You look back upon this week, it may be the biggest week of the year so far with the overtime win over George Mason and then you win today. Uh, you girls went undefeated this week. That's huge. Yeah, that was super exciting. I think after our game on Wednesday, like we definitely learned a lot. Like we all played great, but we want like great is never like amazing for us. We want to be as best as we can. So we just took a lot from that game, learned. And I think like today we made like major improvements, like everywhere on the field, like the defense, transition, offense, I think compared to Wednesday, like it was a lot more fluid and we took a lot of lessons from that game into this game today. So far. Um, it's been super exciting. I feel like last year, like it was a really like great transition because I got to see all these amazing players ahead of me, like the older girls. And they really taught me so much about like college lacrosse because the transition from high school to college is just so big. And I mean, they made it so much easier for me to like get adjusted. So I think carrying that into this year and like they gave me confidence and I think that really helped me and helps me, even the girls around me now, like they all give me confidence so that helps me produce like my best lacrosse. My favorite part of your game is your eight meter shot. <laughs> you take a step, maybe two, and then you hurl a 96 mile power fastball <laughs> into that. Tell me about that style, why do you do that? And do goalies, they don't expect that, do they? I I'm not sure. I mean, I've been doing it in a lot of our games. So, I mean, if they were scouting us, maybe they would recognize it. I mean, today I wasn't able to get on the 8 meter, but I just do it because I feel like it's a better option for me. Like, because all the defenders are so quick off the hash, I feel like I have the power just to, like, get my stick back and rip it. And I feel confident that I can put it in the back of the net, even with the goalie there. I think we're really good right now. Um, I feel like we're all like really confident and we're feeding off of each other. We're really like gelling. I think nothing like 
comes easy and I think in practice we're working super hard just to continue like making great plays to like translate into games so I think we're just getting better every day and it's really showing in our games. Very good.